here from the official home of unofficial Grateful Dead and Music News reporting on Dodger Stadium. The band's in LA. There's something interesting I love about the dynamics of the band playing someplace like LA. And one of them is LA is like the capital of outside in thinking and operation. It's and what I mean by that is just fake tits and fake people and you know, the whole showbiz hub out there is so much about what you look like from the outside. And here comes a Grateful Dead a caravan comes through town, Dead and Company comes into town, and there's no greater inside-out experience available in music than there is with, uh, with the Grateful Dead family of musical experiences. Uh, you know, just constantly a uh, uh, an inside-out experience, an experience that's always been based on looking at your insides and, and people's merits being based on what's on the inside. And that, to me, was one of the, always one of the most attractive things about our community was uh, the prevalence of the inside-out thinking, uh, free from external appearance or, or favor, and, and much more centered in what was at the core of a human and uh, anyway the, when those two worlds combine the potential for some incredible music and some real change in the people that are there to experience it exist and that potential was realized last night the band takes the stage they started off with playing uh, play, they right into the deep end of the pool we're not gonna waste any time getting into this we may waste some time getting started because it seemed like they were having some equipment problems early uh, and that plagued them a little bit through the first set, but it didn't hinder the music at all. Uh, playing right into the deep end of the pool, uh, daylight saves you on those super confusing jams when they come at you early. When they come at you early and the sun's out, for some reason, a little bit easier to hold on to your marbles during sunlight. Uh, and that's why uh, the hours between dusk and dawn have always belonged to the singers of song and teller of tales. Uh, as it's been said, uh, there's something about when the sun goes down that, that kind of makes those things come alive even more. Uh, they're like musical raccoons or something, I don't know, but uh, anyway, sunlight was saving you from too much confusion on playing, but the band got deep nonetheless. From there you go right into Bertha. Bertha's strong, just seems like there's a power that's inherent in, in the vibe from the beginning that, that's really going to drive this thing throughout the night. The Jack Straw is up next, and Jack Straw, albeit a bit on the lazy side, still delivers. Uh, you get Big Railroad next, and Big Railroad, just like in the days of the Grateful Dead, didn't get it a lot, but when you got it, you were always happy, and Big Railroad was an outstanding little piece in the middle of the set. Uh, Peggy O is next, and I guess that's just fine. We're starting to have some technical difficulties. Uh, we just take it into Ramble on Rose, and Ramble on Rose is, is, is okay. It's, it's doing just fine. They're struggling with... So, uh, so we are finally at the end of Ramble on Rose says uh, we're getting 60 cycles of B-flat, uh, an abundance of 60 cycles of B-flat, and uh, it says something's fucked up and uh, we need to find out what it is. So it seemed like they would maybe uh, take a break and then Sound People says, no, don't worry about it, we'll get things back together. And Weird tells the duck joke and just like... Uh, the miracle, he can't get the punchline out of his mouth. Uh, it went a long way to tell the joke. Uh, stumbled on the punchline. Uh, anyway, we love him for trying. Uh, Mayor, uh, he makes a funny of his own, you know, says you take this opportunity to play your body as a wonderland. Uh, that was humorous, you know, he, he throwing some funny at you. Uh, and so anyway, the problems get resolved. Uh, and they bust into Cumberland. Cumberland's a sure way to make everybody forget about any hiccups that existed prior. Uh, the Cumberland jams were furious. They were going to make you forget about any hiccups that happened prior. Uh, Kaminty, uh, as always, outstanding on that one. He drives the action on that tune. And he was the quarterback well in command of what was happening during that jam. Uh, you get Deal next, and uh, listen, Deal uh, found its home. To me, that's where Deal belongs. It, it doesn't belong open in the set or in the middle of the set. It belongs right there, last tune in the first set. It's the perfect place for it. Felt like it was home again. You know, you could travel around and see a lot of places, but 
there's nothing like being home and and Deal finally found its home that's where it belongs and in the first set an outstanding way to to end what a set that was plagued by a little bit of difficulties but they weren't going to let any of those difficulties interfere with the power of the music and the music was was having its way last night uh, set two kicks off listen you get sugar smack scarlet fire Boy, that's a treat. The, there's, uh, there's something about Sugar Mag's opening a set. That, and it didn't, it had all the power of a Sugar Mag's that would close the set. I mean, sometimes it's a little more restrained when you get it in the beginning. But that one was driving hard right out of the gates. There's something very natural about Sugar Mag's, the end of that, finding its way into Scarlet Fire. And the Scarlet Jams were hard. I mean, there was no time to... This was a furious assault on the senses. There was no time for a mental breather in this one, boy. Uh, they kept, the music kept coming at you. Uh, the Scarlet Jams were tremendous. Fire, O'Teal, he, he's smoother than a grease seal on that one. He's, he's completely divorced from the rhythm and singing that one down the middle once again, just smooth as could be. Uh, th this was just jams throughout, transition between Scarlet and Fire, just no room to breathe, boy. They are coming at you with everything they got, a and the Fire was outstanding. The jams on that were relentless. Uh, from there, you go right into Althea. No one's going to get a break on this one. Althea's uh, completely what you want Althea to be. Uh, even one of the segments there, those solo segments, boy, O'Teal thumping away at that and brought it down to a whisper and I was waiting on that segment for them to take it from a whisper because the Grateful Dead uh, when Garcia was around he really knew how to take the moments down to a whisper and let them to develop into a hurricane of sound and the Althea that one segment that they brought it down to a whisper and I was waiting for it to really emerge, and in that segment, it just never really did. It was just a quiet segment, which would, to me is fine. You know, some people think as long as Mayer's playing notes fast, it's a good solo, and, and that's bullshit as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, solos don't always require fast notes, and, and I know John likes a lot of notes. Uh, he, he, he plays a lot of notes and there's just as much power sometimes in getting rid of a lot of those notes so that was a good segment on Althea uh, the jams were great then you get eyes I mean like I said a relentless first half of the second set everybody getting ample opportunities to show off what they got uh, everyone's in it on uh, on eyes eyes boy that's a horse race neck and neck every musician in the party is bringing everything they have this is the band at their best uh, bringing it to you full heat powerful powerful night powerful segment there <coughs> excuse me to for the first half of that second set uh, you go into drums you go into space stella comes out of space uh, we all know I'm not super crazy about We Are on the Garcia Ballads, but the Stella last night, the soul of that tune was intact. Uh, John did an incredibly tasteful job on all the areas where he's called to, to bring the emotion to that song. His solos, I thought, were outstanding. We Are sang it uh, really strong. I thought it was tremendous. I thought the soul of the song was intact. I thought the emotion was uh, as full as it could possibly be. Uh, under the uh, circumstances and with the people playing behind it that were I thought it was it was outstanding sunshine daydream close it off I was thinking to myself a little brief out of space Stella sunshine daydream you get a song and a half uh, sunshine daydream ain't nothing but a piece of a song so out of space it seemed weird to get a song and a piece I guess uh, the Sunshine Daydream was strong, though. Everybody was jamming on that. O'Teal was in full jam bam Beyonce mode. Uh, he was smiling like a teenager that saw his first titty. I mean, everybody's having a good time. Where the whole band just knowing they have delivered the goods last night. Uh, it ends after the Sunshine Daydream. Like I said, thought you get a song and a piece out of space. Seemed a little on the weak side to me. To make that up by giving you the double encore, you get Broke Down, which I thought was beautiful, and, and Not Fade, 
which really just finished off just a smoking night in LA. I mean, that was a good one. You know, I was mentioning shows that I'll be listening to again into the future, and just as my mind got bombarded by thoughts while I talked about that yesterday, I failed to mention Eugene. If you ask me, Eugene still uh, wearing the crown of the, the best thing for me personally that we've experienced all summer. Eugene was the night for me, but uh, LA was a great night. Dodger Stadium was a tremendous. Uh, 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 right up there in the conversation with shows that are people are going to be crazy about when we reflect on this summer tour. Uh, the, the band tonight plays in the secret lair. Uh, they're playing in the secret lair. Nobody knows about it. Not even you. Not even me. But they're playing in the secret lair uh, with with Batman and, and people like that. Uh, it's going to be a hardcore. Uh, you maybe hear about it tomorrow. I don't know. But there's a secret lair gig tonight. Where is it? What is it? Love you long time. See you after Albuquerque.